In this video, I'm going to cover the pros and cons of living in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Let's get started. We're going to kick things off with the first pro of living in Plymouth, the downtown district. One of the cool things about Plymouth is the downtown area, the shopping, the restaurants, and the nightlife. The downtown area consists of Water Street and then Main Street and Court Street. Water Street runs right along the waterfront and has the harbor, restaurants, the Mayflower, Plymouth Rock, Brewster Gardens, and other historic sites. Main Street and Court Street feature a ton of artisan shops, restaurants, and museums. It is perfect for walking. It is the main area that tourists come when they visit Plymouth and you can park right down on Water Street and walk the entire downtown area. Starting a Memorial Day and continuing until Thanksgiving, the downtown area is a hub of activity. The 4th of July Parade, the Thanksgiving Parade, the Downtown Waterfront Festival, the free concerts on the waterfront, and a ton of Chamber of Commerce events. Now the second pro is definitely the restaurants. You will not go hungry when you're in Plymouth. There has been an explosion of restaurants and there is everything from seafood to American, traditional American food, Italian food, Thai food, Mexican food, and they're all fantastic. You have the larger chain type restaurants, but you also have a ton of smaller independent restaurants. A few of my personal favorites are the Water Street Cafe for breakfast. Speedwell Tavern has the best wings on the planet. They're great for lunch or dinner. And then the Lobster Hut, which has phenomenal lobster rolls and onion rings. Now moving on to the third pro is definitely the beaches. Plymouth is a coastal town. We have over 300 ponds in this town. So a big draw into the town is definitely gonna be the beach access. Now there are many public beaches, public access beaches, but there are a ton of private beaches, association beaches as well. Plymouth Beach is the main ocean access beach for the town and features the most amount of public parking. Nelson Beach is another great beach that actually features a park and a playground and a splash pad for the kiddos. And if you can get there early and find a parking space, Whitehorse Beach is an absolute must stop. The sand is gorgeous. It's a beautiful spot. The only challenge is finding a parking spot and getting there early. Now the fourth pro is definitely the weather. If you're living in New England, you appreciate the changes of the seasons. Uh, spring is probably one of my favorite seasons. We're coming out of that cold winter. Everything is bare and brown. And then all of a sudden the colors just explode and the grass turns green and the cherry blossoms are blooming. It really is gorgeous in this town during the spring. And then when we hit the fall, traveling through the Pine Hills, watching those leaves turn is absolutely gorgeous. And being on the South Shore, the weather patterns tend to be a little bit on the more stable side. We don't get as hot in the summer and we don't get as cold normally in the winter. And the fifth pro is definitely the convenient location. One of the reasons why people come down to Plymouth is it is located right along Route 3. Route 3 connects us right directly to Boston. Many of the areas and villages of Plymouth are easily accessible by Route 3. So it's very easy to jump on the highway and either head down to the Cape or head into the city. We're about 50 minutes to head into downtown Boston and you can be in Hyannis at about the same amount of time, depending on traffic, of course. It's also convenient to Route 44 if you're heading to Rhode Island, if you're heading to TF Green for a smaller airport experience, if you don't wanna head into Logan. There's a lot of options depending on where you're headed in the state directly from Plymouth. Another pro is the housing value. You can get a lot for your money in Plymouth versus the surrounding areas. One of the reasons why people are coming down to Plymouth is how far the value of the dollar goes. Now Plymouth has several villages and every village has a different value. The further south you head in Plymouth, the more value for the dollar you get. Your dollar's gonna go a little further in Cedarville than it will in Chiltonville. Chiltonville's close to the hospitals, it's close to the downtown area. So, the, so you're gonna pay a little bit more for that area than you would say down in Chiltonville, which is a little further from the downtown area. The further away from Boston you travel, the further the dollar goes. But overall, when you compare Plymouth to the surrounding towns, it is a tremendous value 
for the money. Now those are the pros, let's talk about the cons because this is not a perfect town and there are definitely some drawbacks and things that are not so great about Plymouth that may not make it the right place for you to live. The first con is definitely the traffic. Because people have been moving into this town, we've seen our population grow and it's growing in popularity, we have absolutely seen an increase in traffic. Afternoon commuter traffic, weekend traffic, holiday traffic is absolutely the worst. And we are a tourist town. So during tourist season, starting at about Memorial Day, it is heavy traffic during the downtown area. If you want to get to the store, if you want to visit one of those restaurants, you're going to have to accommodate for more time. And because of the traffic, more people, there's going to be less parking. So it's a little bit more of a challenge in terms of your timing. After Memorial Day, if you want to head down to the Cape, you are not going to do it on a Friday afternoon or you'll be sitting in traffic for several hours. Now I mentioned location as a pro. Location is definitely a con as well. We are a little bit removed from the downtown area. So it could take you, depending on traffic, over an hour to get into the city. So if you work in the city, if you are a commuter, you're going to have to add extra time. Now there are other options. We do have a commuter train um, located right over the Plymouth line in Kingston uh, that goes right into South Station, downtown Boston. A lot of people that live in Plymouth use that commuter train uh, as an easier access to get into Boston so that you don't have to deal with sitting in traffic. Uh, but if you're driving to an area that isn't serviced by the train or by the T, it's going to take you longer. It's going to take you more time to get there from Plymouth. Now also, because Plymouth is 102 square miles, it could take a half an hour sometimes to get from the northern section of Plymouth to the southern section of Plymouth. Now on the heels of that, Con number three is that public transportation is not available in all areas. Now in Plymouth, we do have the Gatra bus. The Gatra bus will get you from point A to point B in the downtown areas, specific areas on the outskirts of downtown. But if you live down in Southern Plymouth, the Ponza Plymouth, down towards Cedarville, the Gatra bus public transportation is not easily accessible. Yes, you can do an Uber, you can do a Lyft, that'll get you into the downtown area, but it's not a cheap alternative. Alternative. So if you live in Plymouth, you do need your own transportation to get to all of the different areas in town. Now the fourth con, I mentioned this as a pro, is also the weather. If you are an allergy sufferer, you are going to struggle in the springtime in this area. The height of the pollen season, the pollen is so thick, there is a visible thick coating of yellow on every single car you see. And if you like to keep your windows open for fresh air, you don't like to use air conditioning all the time, you're gonna have to get used to a thin layer of yellow dust on everything. The other challenge is because we're a coastal community, the weather changes on a dime. So it could be in the 50s in the morning and in the 80s in the afternoon. Now I mentioned housing is a pro. It is definitely also a con. And the reason is, is as demand is increasing, as people are discovering Plymouth moving into this town, so aren't the prices. We have seen prices the same as across the country. You know, the prices have gone up 30% across the country on average, but Plymouth has seen a big growth because people want to live in Plymouth. Even with our price increases, we're still a better value than the surrounding towns, but that gap is starting to close. So where it used to be, I would see people say, okay, well, I'm gonna live in Plymouth and choose Plymouth because they could afford a home, whereas the neighboring towns, maybe they couldn't. Now they're bouncing between the different towns because the values are a little bit closer. So that savings, that value savings that we used to have is starting to shrink as those prices are increasing to match up with our neighbors. So you've listened to the pros and cons, you're still interested, you want more information about Plymouth, check out my video, The Three Reasons to Live in Plymouth where I highlight the three main reasons that people are moving into this Oceanside community. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.